Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We got an unboxing today. Alien Bees, folks. We have the beauty dish here, right here. This is the 22 inch high output beauty dish. This goes on the Alien Bees. So I've already zipped the uh, case here, the huge, the size of this box, this big beauty dish, folks. Um, and beauty dishes are beautiful. You get some great lighting, great, Simple instant lighting if you want to take some nice looking portraits real quick. This is well boxed. We have a box within a box Let me get this out of the way here So I can show you Okay, so box within a box And here is the dish We got some packaging here get the other box out of the way here is the dish look how big this thing is folks 22 inch beauty dish for the alien bees if you haven't checked out my previous video on the alien bees check it out we have the um, we have the B1600 here and the B800 uh, that's from Paul C buff American made flash Studio lights, you want to check them out. Very good deal. And even more importantly, I'm going to leave. Let me put some bubble wrap down there. Just to set on the coffee table surface. Mostly so Mrs. Ballard doesn't get upset about scratching the coffee table. Look at that beautiful beauty dish. Really nice finish to it. As you noticed, it was very well packaged. Lots of bubble wrap. Protective uh, plastic uh, bag, uh, two boxes, box within a box, heavy corrugate, I think that's triple corrugate cardboard, really nice boxed, um, and uh, really nice looking dish. Now, I haven't put this on a, a bee yet, so let's uh, first tell you what comes in here. Light sock for the beauty dish, so that's basically a diffuser that goes over the front of the dish. And then we have some assembly stuff here and some instructions. So I've got the uh, B1600, Alien Bees 1600. You should be able to see that there. Um, and right now, the B has the standard, I think it's the seven inch um, reflector on here. So we're gonna push the little B antennas, very carefully take it off so we don't, we don't wanna damage our um, flash bulb. And uh, then what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna assemble the other pieces, but I just wanna show you how quickly this will go on here. So we wanna pinch the antenna again, and we quickly can put this on like that. And there's our beauty dish installed, right there on the B. So I did that in what, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds. Now, granted, to install this fully, there's a center diffuser, or whatever you wanna call it. Let me see what Paul C. Buff calls it here. Paul C. Buff's the manufacturer of Alien B lights. Direct light blocker assembly. So this is essentially making it so that all the light coming off of here is diffused, is uh, originating from some type of bounce area so you're not having direct light on your subject. So that's what this is. This little uh, doohickey goes in the center of there. I shouldn't call it a doohickey. It's a, it is a direct light blocker. And that goes in the center there and mounts via this rod. So I'm just gonna quickly here put that on so you can see what it looks like installed. So I'm gonna lift this dish carefully off there so we don't uh, damage our, our uh, bulb. And there's a screw in the bottom of this rod. And then what we wanna do is we want to take this here and we put the screw through the hole very simply and then the rod screws back on. Now I should point out, you don't need to use the, the direct light blocker. You can use the beauty dish without it. Um, it's just, uh, what's he say here? By attaching the included direct light blocker, only light bounced from the reflector falls on the subject while the direct light from the flash tube is blocked. So you probably do want to use it, but you might want to play around and see, and I'm sure I will, what it looks like without it. Now here we go, he actually says, Thus, when using the beauty dish without the direct light blocker, the result is a small center light source, the flash tube, surrounded by a 22-inch circle of reflected light. 
This use uh, results in enhanced reflections from shiny objects such as sequins, jewelry, etc., and achieves maximum pop. So you add the light blocker and then you get all diffused light. Um, so it says, great for indoor portraits to create warmer skin tones or for diffusing hot spots that might occur on shimmery fabrics or reflective surfaces. So that kind of explains to you a little bit more detail what the direct light blocker is for. So to install the dish with the direct light blocker, we just take the dish and we put it back on. So we want to pinch our, our antenna on there and we just lower that carefully on, making sure to miss our flash bulb because we don't need to, uh, to buy another flash bulb because we damaged it, which is really easy to do. I mean, I'm trying to film a video here and do this paying attention with one hand on whatever and still paying attention to the video. It's much easier when you're concentrating on what you're doing without a video going. Anyways, this goes right into the umbrella holder. The alien bees have a, a hole there for an umbrella holder. And I just got to back out the, um, the locking screw on there. And then that slides down. And then we just stick it in there like that, clamp it down. They say one to two inches from the modeling lamp, which I think I'm right about there. And then I'll pick it up here and we'll show you it installed. There we go. You can see it's installed in there. I've got, I don't know if you can see right in there, but I've got it about two inches from the modeling lamp. You can see on the back here, there is the umbrella holder. So it comes right through there. Now you can use that for an umbrella too. This is just what's being used with the beauty dish, but it just illustrates to you that with the alien bees, you can stick any old umbrella through there and it's got a built-in mount right there. So you can use, um, you don't even have to buy the actual alien bees umbrellas or accessories. You can just buy the lights and use um, uh, any old umbrellas you have. A lot of people have a Westcott or something like that. However, I will say that the alien bees, they have a PLM, which we're gonna show you in another video. And they also have some really nice diffusers. So you, you might actually, they're really high quality. So you might wanna buy them from alien bees. But anyways, that's it right there. And uh, when we grasp the light here and show you, that's it firing right on. So this is how you'd use it taking a portrait. Now, we'll show you quickly how the light sock goes on. Diffusion sock, I should say. Call that a light sock. I guess it doesn't matter. We want to stretch it over the dish. So there you go. That's the light sock on the dish. You can see from the back there what it is. Basically, it's a nice uh, quality material here. It's not really cheap like uh, some of the stuff you see out of China. This is a decent uh, layer of material, and it's got a really nice... Uh, well sewn in um, elastic band on the back which just goes over there so there's the beauty dish with the sock on it so that's going to give you the nice soft light from the dish but with the, the sock on it it's going to give you that extra layer of diffusion so you're going to get really nice soft light let's see um, what um, the alien bees company says about this Attaching the diffusion sock converts the beauty dish into the equivalent of a round softbox with outstanding evenness across the face of the diffusion fabric. This widens the angle of coverage to about 150 degrees and lowers the output by approximately 2.5 to 3 f-stops on the silver beauty dish and approximately 1, and a half, um, 1 to 1.5 1 f-stops on the white beauty dish. It also minimizes specularity in the silver beauty dish, creating approximately the same photographic result as the white beauty dish. So, there you go. There it is with the sock, folks. Easy as that to take off the uh, diffusion sock. And there it is. There's the 22-inch silver beauty dish from Alien Bees on the B1600 with the uh, light blocker in there. So I'm really excited to uh, start doing some shooting with the bees and especially to try out this beautiful beauty dish um, that uh, we got from Alien Bees here. So uh, stay tuned. We'll have some photos for you from some shoots with the beauty dish and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. And oh yeah, if you have any questions about the beauty dish, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions at all about the Alien Bees stuff, let me know, or you can contact Alien Bees directly. It's the Paul C. Buff Company, American-made stuff, and um, my initial impressions, really favorable 
very nice quality, very nicely made, uh, a real value, and nice to see made in the USA instead of that made in China stamp. Thanks, folks.